What's going on, everybody? My name is Bendy, and this is Disney Heroes. Hey, look, it's young Jeff Bridges. Who's that guy? That's Tron. He fights for the users. Tron. I was looking for these clips or whatever, just like watching Tron. Oh my god, look at these special effects. It's so insane. I was loving it the entire time. So, if you couldn't guess by that intro, today we're going to be talking about Tron. So, Tron. This is the highly requested Tron overview that I've been wanting to make for a little while now. Probably one of the best supports in the game, and definitely has been since he came out, just because he can pretty much counter everything in the entire game, which is kind of interesting, because um, while he's able to counter everything, he's also a little bit frail, so he can be pretty easy to kill. So I think this one might be a little bit different of a hero overview overall, because Tron is just such a generally good hero that I think it'd be really difficult for me to um, narrow down just who Tron is good against without literally saying everybody in the entire game. So I think a lot of this overview is going to be a lot more just vague generalizations versus specific heroes that Tron is good against, if that makes sense. But anyways... As usual, we're going to be talking about what his skills do, what mods you should give him, who he's good with, against, and of course, who counters him. Because that's what we do on this series. We're going to make you play video games. Okay, no sweat. I play video games better than anybody. I'm very excited to bring this one to you guys, because <laughs> I love Tron, I think he's great, and I'm going to tell you why he's so great. Because you might be thinking, sometimes I can take him out pretty easily, so what makes him so great? Well, the first reason we can see very quickly is with his white skill, which is immediately just what he's good at. His white skill, it removes all active buffs from enemies and deals damage to them. And then Tron also summons a light barrier, applying two stacks of hardy to himself. This white skill right here is able to remove literally any buff from the enemy team. So this could be everything from invincibility to Magara's link to hardy stacks, attack boosts, shields even. Literally anything you can ever imagine that boosts your enemy's power is going to be removed by this white skill. So you can see very quickly that Tron is going to be extremely useful against a number of heroes in this game. And I'll probably be getting into this a lot more in a couple more minutes, but that's just his white skill is really what he's best at. Second, we have his green skill. At the start of each wave, Tron summons a light barrier on the frontmost ally, which gives them two stacks of party. So with his white skill, he's going to be giving himself two stacks of party and also giving the frontmost ally two stacks of party beginning of the wave. Tron and his allies also receive skill power per stack of party that they each have on them. Tron regenerates a stack of party every 8 seconds on the frontmost ally. So Tron is just going to be protecting the frontmost ally at all times from pretty much any debuff from going off. So this could be um, a freeze, an attack reduction, a silence, or really any other disable or things like that. This just protects the frontmost ally. And he can apply a maximum of 3 of them to the ally. Uh, his blue skill is a system patch. Tron heals himself and the ally with the least HP for a lot of HP. Uh, this isn't too crazy. I guess it's cool that he has healing. Pretty typical skill, especially for a support hero. Nothing too crazy going on here. His purple skill, Firewall. Holy oh. You wanna watch those force steals? After three stacks of hardy block a debuff for an ally, a lot of damage is dealt to nearby enemies and they are stunned for three seconds. So this purple skill can be a surprisingly good damage dealer for you, despite Tron being a support hero, because there's going to be a lot of hardy blocking debuffs for an ally, especially the frontmost ally. So this is going to be doing a lot of damage for you, and is why when I get to the mods you'll see that a lot of people, they actually give purple mods to Tron because he actually does a lot of damage, especially with some extra mods on him. As you can see I gave him um, mods so that he does more damage. A lot of the top people in the game give him purple mods. And last we have his red skill. Io Barrier, his white skill, also applies one stack of party to all allies below 25% of their max HP. 
up to a maximum of three stacks of heart, this has a chance to fail. So this just gives even more hardy to his teammates, which in turn just protects them from all the disables and debuffs and stuff like that. Um, it just makes his white skill even better, basically. And also you can see down here that with um, distributed process, which is his green skill, he also gives uh, even more skill power with the green skill. So yeah, I think more so than almost any other hero in the game, Tron is really just such a generally good hero because he's just so helpful in tons of situations. Alright, so those are his skills. Let's see what his friend discs do. Now, this is the one that I and I think most people use, which on the surface doesn't look that great, but when you look at, especially when you max this uh, friend disc, 1000 energy makes it so that he immediately gets his white seal off right away. So this can be huge for getting rid of any buffs that your enemies have right at the beginning of the fight, which there's a lot of heroes that do. So this is going to be really, really good against a lot of things. And you can see over here that he gives himself more skill power and he gives himself some max HP with this. So this is the one that I use and I know most people use this one, but um, this one over here is pretty decent too, especially if you're going to be using Tron with a uh, tank because this one gives tank heroes skill power and he gives himself skill power. With the star ability over here, tank world allies receive two stacks of party at the beginning of each wave and regenerate one stack of party every eight seconds. And they can receive a maximum of three stacks of party from distributed process. So I think this is going to work in addition to the stacks of party that they already receive at the beginning of the wave. I'm not sure if this means that they are still able to get three stacks of party max, so this means that it would increase to a maximum of five. But either way, this can be a very good friend disc if you have some tanks on your team. But generally, a lot of people just use this one because it allows him to get his white skill off very, very quickly at the beginning of the fight. So those are his skills. As I already said, Tron is just a very generally good hero. He doesn't really fit in with any particular meta. He just kind of can go in any real team and just help in a ton of different ways. So now, let's move on to his mods. There's like two or three things you can do with Tron as far as his mods go. As I kind of hinted to before, Tron's purple skill can do a surprising amount of damage if you have purple mods on him. So what a lot of the top players in the game do is they will go in with three or four purple mods. And I'm actually considering doing this myself. I have two purple mods so far, but um, you can really catch people off guard with a really heavy damage dealing Tron. I'm probably going to replace this reality mod with a purple mod once I'm able to get one. Then I'm going to leave this speed up mod so that I can um, get his white skill off even sooner at the beginning of the fight. So that's just what I'm going to be doing. Other options you could do is uh, you can see that with his green skill, he gives skill power to his teammates. So you could also just totally go all in with green skill mods if you feel like being even more supportive. This would go great with anybody that uses a lot of skill power for their skills. So it's pretty much anything. And you could probably use this uh, similar to how I use my Nick. If you've seen any of my videos where I use Nick, you could just stick him on any team really. And Tron's just going to make his allies way stronger. Um, you could do a blue mod, but I don't really recommend it because I don't think that's going to be super duper helpful for you. I definitely think either green or purple are going to be way more useful for you overall. Um, I do like the speed up mod because it allows him to get his white skill off even sooner, which is what he's best at, obviously. You could give him either a reality or an armor mod. Um, Tron is pretty frail. He has a pretty low armor and reality compared to other heroes that are around the same power as him. He also has pretty low max HP, so that's a big disadvantage that Tron has, is he's very frail, so he can die pretty quickly for you, but he stands in the back, so oftentimes he is pretty well protected by the rest of his team, but yeah, you could definitely give him a reality or an armor mod. I would go with reality personally, but that's just me. I like to boost the skill that they're already good at, but you can totally give him an armor one in order to even the reality and armor. Uh, you could give him a shield mod, it might be pretty good, but I'm not a big fan of the shield mod overall unless it's, our, it's on a hero that already has shield. I think there's better options than the shield mod on Tron, but um, the only thing I don't recommend is either of the crit mods. It's not going to be that great on him because as you can see, he doesn't have any fantastic crit at all and all of his moves are fantastic that do damage. Um, normal crit's going to be useless on him and fantastic crit, you can see he doesn't have any, so pretty useless. Other than that, you can really do whatever you want with Tron. It's all about personal preference. For me, I'm going to be giving him three purple mods. So you can do that if you want. You don't have to. Do whatever the hell you want. And yeah, that's going to be about it for the mods. Continue to profess a belief in the users will receive the standard, substandard training which will result in your eventual elimination. <laughs> Oh, so now that battle badges are in the game, I might as well mention what that is for Tron. 
So, Tron's Battle Badge gets charged when 11 stacks of Hardy are applied to heroes. This could be any source, I'm pretty sure. So, um, if you pair him with anybody else that gives Hardy, those will also charge Tron. Um, and it gives him skill power and reality per red team hero. And then it also uh, gives him plus four stacks of Hardy. So, in addition to the Hardy that he's already giving himself and teammates, it's going to be giving him even more Hardy. So, definitely goes pretty well with what Tron is already doing. So, compared to some of the other Battle Badges that seem to be semi-useless, is actually one of the more useful ones, I think. So, pretty cool. Let's move on to who is Tron good with? Now, Tron, as you could probably guess, is good with pretty much everybody. As I've been saying several times in this video, Tron is just a very generally good support hero that does a lot for your team. Just removing the buffs from his enemies and giving hardy and skill power to his teammates. Um, it's just a very generally useful kit to have. But Tron is going to be very good with any heroes that boost skill power. So this could be, say, Nick with his purple skill giving skill power. He could go great with that. Felix, who gives skill power with his purple skill. And of course, there's plenty of others that give skill power, mainly sports and stuff like that. But he's going to go great with anybody that gives skill power to his teammates just because it just gives even more skill power between Tron and them. So you can really give your teammates power boost with that. And as I was saying when I was talking about his gizmo dips. Um, he could go great with tanks just to give them stacks of hardy and skill power. So this could be say Maximus, Goliath, Pooh, anything like that. Any tank really, he's gonna go good with that. Kidda and anybody else that gives an energy boost is gonna be pretty fun to have with Tron just to make Tron get his white skill off even faster. But as you can see Kidda and her allies gain 150 energy every four seconds. And also with her Jasmine disc, allies attack speeds are increased by up to 75% when they have more than 500 energy. So Kidda could go really good with Tron if you want to get his white skills off even faster. There's others that give energy to their teammates, but Kidda is just the example I decided to use. And that's really all I had with good with. Like I said, Tron is just very generally good with a lot of heroes, so it was kind of hard to narrow down a list without making it ridiculously long. So who's Tron good against now? If you go the, the full purple mod route, Tron is going to be great against any heroes that have low reality. Usually the ones with low reality are going to be the ones that deal normal damage. Now, this could also kind of bite you in the butt because Tron has very low armor, so he might not work very well defensively against that, but especially because this purple skill goes off very quickly, this can actually do some damage really quickly in the beginning of the fight, and you might even be able to take out their entire line like right away. It can really catch people off guard a lot. Um, Tron is also very good against Megara because um, he's able to get rid of her link that she has with the frontmost ally or whatever ally you choose if you don't play on um, auto. So this in a sense can pretty much just make Megara completely useless. Without the link, Megara is just a sitting duck who doesn't really do anything. Um, and anytime I see Megara, I usually just put Tron in there and just wipes her out immediately pretty much. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt, but oh my god, look at these special effects! I keep getting distracted by how crazy they are. It's just like so 80s. Love it. This was like one of the first films that ever used CGI in movies, just like as a little background. So this is really cool, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, I'm done, I'm done. I promise I'm not gonna interrupt anymore. Back to the overview. Tron is also quite good against Slinky because Tron is able to get rid of the shields that Slinky gives himself and his teammates. And this also applies to anybody that gives a lot of shields to themselves or allies. So this would be, say, Baymax, Mulan, Violet, anything like that. Tron is literally just able to remove the shields because shields are considered a buff. So Tron is a huge help against Slinky. Another good one is going to be Ian and anybody else that has Reflect because similar. Reflect is also considered a buff, especially since Kevin Flynn disc on Tron. He gets his white skill off very quickly, so you can really immediately take out the Reflect from Ian right at the beginning of the fight. So this pretty much makes the Ian protection that he gives his teammate pretty much useless right off the bat. So definitely a very good option for dealing with Ian, and I know a lot of people struggle with him, as well as other Reflectors like Ham, Fear, and uh, Darkwing Duck. And I think there's one or two others, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah, so Tron against Reflect, very good option. Another thing that Tron's going to be good against is going to be Beast. I know Beast is pretty weak in the meta overall. Nobody really has trouble with him anymore, but it can definitely be pretty annoying to deal with the beast, especially if you're a lower level player, because I know you might not have as many counters for him. So Tron is a very good counter for the beast, just because he's able to get rid of his berserk ability, so he won't be as unkillable for you. And there's actually one or two others that have berserk now. I know Davy Jones I'm pretty sure does. Is it considered berserk or is he just invincible? Yeah, Davy Jones goes berserk when his uh, chest is out, so that could get rid of that as well. 
Brawn is also a great counter for Kermit. For if you couldn't guess, the duplication on his white skill that's going to be giving any buff to all of their allies. So Tron is just going to be able to get rid of all those buffs. This includes the invincibility that he gives to the frontmost ally, and then in turn he gets everybody on his team invincible. So Tron can just get rid of that as well. So Tron against Kermit is very good, and similar, anybody with invincible could also be countered really hard by Tron. Like I said, Tron is just really good against a ton of things. Like, he can literally get rid of anything. So, I know my list for this is relatively short overall, but I don't want to, like, bore you guys with a huge-ass list of a bunch of heroes that Tron is good against because he's good against literally anything. I did want to hone in on, like, three or four that um, are pretty important and are really good counters, I think. So, now, who counters Tron? How do you deal with it? We can't get the MCP without the help of my now, as I was saying before, Tron is kind of frail, so he can be pretty easy to take down overall, especially if the enemy doesn't have, like, a ton of protection to help him out. You can very easily take Tron out with Mulan right off the bat before the fight even starts with your green skill, if the enemy doesn't have any other thing protecting Tron or if he's standing in the back. So this can be kind of situational, just all depends on what the enemy has. Anybody that attacks the back row is going to be really good, so a couple examples. Elastigirl with the Penelope disc targets the back row. Rocketeer goes into the back row and attacks them, so Rocketeer could be a really good option. Darkwing Duck, uh, Peter Pan I think kind of targets the back row, not super crazy. Also Cheshire, which is uh, another one I wanted to bring up because Cheshire just does so much damage. And he goes right into the middle of everybody, targets them, and probably takes everybody out right away with this white skill. Um, anybody that just attacks the back row is going to be great, just because Tron is kind of frail. But if you're not prepared for him, Tron can definitely wipe you out just as easily. So you have to kind of be careful. Tron is actually a pretty good counter for himself, just because he's able to get rid of his own hardies against like the enemy Tron, so as to not protect the enemy team quite as well. A couple others here. We have a couple that block their teammates from having their buffs removed. We have Joey and Timon with his red skill. When a buff is stolen or removed from Timon or an ally before the duration reaches zero, they are granted a Kuna Matata for five seconds. So anytime Tron removes a buff from the uh, team, they're just going to be getting a Kuna Matata for even longer. That's a great counter for Tron. This red skill is definitely created as a Tron counter, as is Joy's red skill. Joy and her allies can't have their buffs removed or stolen by enemies for the first seven seconds of each wave. So this just prevents Tron from having really any use for first seven seconds of every wave, except uh, the damage maybe, but just like Timon, this was definitely created as a Tron counter specifically, so the two of them can definitely help, especially if you have the right skill. Swedish Chef is another really good counter for Tron. Swedish Chef applies fatigue to the enemy, which prevents a buff from being applied to them, so this will counter Tron's hardies that he's going to be giving his teammates constantly. Also with his blue skill, he's going to be granting himself the last four buffs that attempted to gain with the fatigue, so Swedish Chef could very easily just be giving himself Tron's hardies. Swedish Chef is a great Tron counter as well as just fatigue in general. It's going to prevent Tron from being able to give as many hardies to his teammates, which is really helpful. Lock, Shock, and Barrel with their Cheshire disc, as you can see here. Calhoun has it with her red skill, I believe. Saiba... Saibageddon gives five stacks of fatigue to the enemy, and that is the blue skill. As well as Sadness with her, her white skill giving uh, two stacks of fatigue. And the last couple options I had, um, I know I say this every video, so I'm just gonna gloss over it very quickly. Silence prevents Tron from being able to use his skills, so it's gonna prevent him from using his white skill as much, as well as Hex and Sap. The sap is gonna be great, just to prevent him from using his white skill as often. We have, say, Eeyore, Cheshire, another reason that Cheshire is a good counter against Tron. There's Magicka, Sapping Tron, removing his energy, Gaston, there's a few others. Um, Captain Hook has Sap, but yeah, Sap's gonna be a really good counter against Tron, just to prevent him from getting his white skill off as much, as well as Hex. Hex is going to make it so that Tron gets stunned instead of using his white skill. So the Two hexers, as I always say, are um, Mim and Ursula. I'm sure there's going to be more added soon, but Hex is kind of a niche ability. But um, Madame Mim could definitely be a pretty good counter with the Hex ability. And um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have. We made it. I feel like I didn't have very much to say in this episode, but Tron is just such a generally good hero that it's kind of difficult to say who he's good with or good against without just literally saying every hero, because he's kind of just good against everything, and really the main downfall is the fact that Tron is kind of frail, so he can be pretty easy to take down. Tron is definitely a support hero that I think everybody kind of wants to have, just because he's really good in a 
huge variety of situations, probably more so than any other hero in the entire game, which is really what makes him so good. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for this video. Go check out my Twitter, or um, I just made a uh, Facebook page so that I'm not using my personal Facebook account in order to post on the uh, Facebook group. So you can go friend that if you want. I'm going to be using my Facebook Bendy account in order to post on the Disney Heroes Facebook group from now on. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all I got for you guys. I don't have a whole lot to announce or anything like that, so I'll just get out of here. Um, peace. Neutron is almost 3 million dr Holy shit. Evil Queen is now the new background for the really good category. One, two, three, four, five. Fuck them up. I love Pooh. Okay, one more clip. Just look at this CGI and this acting. It's so amazing. I love it.